What is up guys, William Fletcher here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create an online course with Google Slides. I'm gonna show you how to make slides for an online course that don't suck. So guys, what you're gonna see here on this side of the screen is what most people's online courses they create with Google Slides look like. And I gotta be honest, it is not pretty, it does not look good at all. So what I wanna show you in this Google Slides tutorial is how to take a boring looking Google Google slide presentation like this for your online course and make it look like this. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that step by step. So let's dive in. And guys, if you like the template that I create here today and you want me to release it for you to be able to download and use as your own Google Slides template, then give this video a like and comment below that you want the template. And if I get enough likes and comments, I'll post that for you guys to download. All right guys, so one of the first things that we have to do in order to create a great looking online course in Google Slides is we gotta start off with a nice title slide that has the name of our course, it has the headline of our course, and really it looks nice and it's engaging and people will wanna look at this because if we can get them to engage here, we can get them to watch more of our online course, which is ultimately the most important thing as a course creator. So before we even start this, we gotta think about what this design would look like. And let's be honest guys, a lot of people that are creating online courses aren't great graphic designers. It's a skill set within its own. So one of the first things that you can do to get some really great ideas for color combinations or even the entire look of your online course is to head over to Google and just type in infographic. And the reason being is that there are a lot of great artists that create nice looking infographics. So I can get a nice color scheme or something that I want to theme my entire course look off of from professional graphic designers. So I'll click on images here and it's gonna pull up some awesome looking images from infographics. Now for this particular course, I wanted to go with a black and green look. So you can actually get more specific with it and say black and teal infographic. And there we go. Now I got a little color scheme that I can pull from. Now one other advanced little tip here is I got this little eyedropper tool for my browser. It's called eyedropper for Google Chrome. And you'll see that it's actually already done this because I, I've uh, prepared for this tutorial. But what this eyedropper tool allows me to do is click right here. And that's going to allow me to click anywhere on this web page and pull the color. So you'll see as I hover over this teal, it turns teal and it shows me what, a, what that color is in the bottom right hand part of the screen. As I hover over the blackish gray, it does it there. Uh, and I can actually click on that. And once I do that, I can now click up here and it's gonna give me that color code. Now that'll be important as we build out our presentation. So let's go ahead and copy that color code and let's head back over to our presentation. So let's start recreating this. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a title slide. All right, so for this first slide, we're just gonna create a blank slide and we're gonna start from scratch here, all right? So we got a blank slide there and one of the first things I want to do is I want to add a little bit of texture and a little bit of look to this. Now this is a business course in this example. So one thing that would go great for this in the background would be like a computer desk. So if you go to unsplash.com and I got it pulled up here and I've actually already searched it, but if I clear that out, go to unsplash.com and I type in computer desk, you will see it pops up with all kinds of different images that I could choose from to use as a background. Now this is a presentation, so ideally I would want something in a landscape format. And for this example, we're just gonna use this. All right, so we're gonna open this one up here and we're gonna click download for free. And that is gonna download to my computer. Now I can come into my presentation and click on the background to change the background for this slide and choose an image. And in this case, we're gonna upload it from our computer by clicking on browse, selecting the image, and clicking open. Next, we hit done, and now we have an image there. But if you notice back from my title slide, I had this blackish gray overlay on it, right? To give it that same look as the infographic that we got inspiration from. And this adds a little depth and allows your title 
to stick out from the background. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Google and we're just gonna type in black background. And that's gonna pop up a number of them here. We'll just pick any of them and we will download this to our computer. Right to our downloads folder and there we go. Go back to our presentation Go to insert image upload from computer and select the image that we just downloaded and click open. Next, we're going to resize this image to go over top of our presentation here. We'll just resize this down here. Move the sides in to the edge. Do that on this side. We'll check the top here as well. And now that is resized. Next, we can click on Format Options, come over to Adjustments, and change the transparency of this image. And we can adjust this until we get it just how we like it. So we'll start about right there and see what that looks like. All right. So now we have our background, and we have a transparency layer over it just to give it some depth. And we're now gonna add a text box. So I'm gonna drag this text box from the left side to the right. And the reason I do it all the way across just where the slide is, is so that I can actually center this text and have it centered on the page. So we're gonna put the title of our course here in all caps. We're gonna say blog kingdom. We're gonna select that. We're gonna make it bold. And we're gonna make it a lot bigger. And we'll just type a number in here, 120, for example. It's too big. Let's bring that down. Somewhere in there. We're going to change the color to white. And now let's change the font. Now, in this example, I used a big, bold font called Fajala One, and I probably butchered the name of that, but that's what I used there. And I'm gonna make it bigger. All right, and now I'm gonna click here to align it to the center. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do, just to give this thing some color, so I'm gonna highlight Kingdom, and I'm gonna change the text color to that custom color that we copied from the infographic. Remember that color code? That's where we put this in. And now we got that in there. So now that's starting to look good. So now we need our subtitle. So I'm going to add another text box down here. And I'm going to type out our subtitle text, which is how to. And actually, I didn't use caps on this. It was how to launch a highly profitable blog. And we're going to bold this text. We're going to make it white. We're going to center it and we're going to make it a lot bigger. So we're going to play around with some sizes here. And what I did for mine in this particular example is I wanted it all to fit on one line, just a little bit smaller than the actual title of the course itself. So we'll go with that here. And now we're just gonna reposition these just so they're more near the center of the page. Bring this one down a little bit. About right in there. Now the last thing that we wanna do, and actually what we can do on this one is we can unbold this. That was unbolded in the original. We'll actually bring this size up just a touch so it'll look like that. All right, and the last thing I did on the original was I put a little text here with my name in it just to brand it to me. So you could put a brand name down here, you could put your name down there, however you wanna do it. What we'll do here is we'll create another text box and we will just type in, in this example, I used my name. I'm gonna select it, change the font color to white and I looked for a font that was kind of like a cursive. The one I used was caveat, so we'll put that there. 
bring that size up a little bit and let's align this thing to the right see what we're looking at it's a little too far to the right so we'll just grab the box here and just shift it just slightly and to make it stand out we'll use that green color that we used in the title so we got that there and boom now we have our title slide ready to go so now let's go into the next slide which would be like a content slide so what we'll do is we'll come up here to this little plus icon and create a content style slide so we'll click that here the first thing I want to do is I want to change the background of this one I want this one to be white I'm going to go to background choose a color and this one's going to be white you'll see my title text disappeared there so one thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the background of this section here to the teal color that we have so if I come over here to fill color and choose teal now we have that and we will now enter our title for this slide which will be in caps again step one choosing a profitable niche I'm gonna select it all there I'm gonna bold it and I'm gonna use our font that we used earlier again and make that look like that and we're gonna center that and just to make this easy I'm gonna copy and paste my text in here but I'll do it without formatting so I can show you how we do that All right, so I just pasted that in we actually want to make these bullet points so we're going to select that and we'll get rid of this extra stuff that it pasted here and in my original example I made this font black just so it popped off the page a little better so we'll change that to black and boom now we have our first content slide all right, the next thing I want to do is I'm going to create a very similar slide to this, but I'm going to switch it up just a little bit. And the reason that I do that is it just makes it more engaging and more appealing for the person watching your online course. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just duplicate this slide. So if I right click on it and click duplicate slide, that will create an exact copy of that now for this example I want to change my background to that grayish black color so we'll pick a color like this and we'll hit done all right now really the only thing I gotta do here is change my font to white and now I did forget one step on the this slide and the prior one and that was to bring my branding name back down so I'll show you quickly how I can do that so if I go back to the first slide we created click on this layer click up on this line here and I hit command C on my computer for copy and I come here to this slide and hit command V for paste you'll see that it paste it down there and I have my branding there and we'll come to this slide, Command V again, paste it, and there we go. Control V on a PC. So now I have my first three slides. They're looking good. I could change out the content. You know, this one could be step two, writing content, and put my text in there for that. However, I wanted to do it there. And now we're going to create one more content slide that's just another variation here. Let's do it by duplicating this slide. All right. Then let's go to the background for this slide. And this time we're going to go to the gradient option and try to find something that kind of fits our teal color. So this one down here kind of fits it. So I'll click this here and see what this looks like. So we have that there. And now we'll just change this around a little bit to look better with that background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is highlight our heading here and change that background to our grayish black color. There we go, that looks a lot better. And the last thing we'll do is we'll just change the branding to that same color. There we go, and boom, now we got a third content template for this presentation that looks great. And now we're gonna do the one that looks like this. This one's a little bit more tricky, but we'll get there with just a few additional steps. So 
we're going to create a new slide and we are going to select this section title and description template so we'll click on that we're going to drag it down to the bottom where we would be in our presentation and right now i have a dark theme on so this isn't really something we talked about but at the beginning when i chose a theme i chose the dark theme so by default it's on this light theme if yours is on that just come up the theme and change it to the dark theme that way when you select this slide template it will look very similar to mine now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this here and change the background color to our teal color and you'll see it only changes it to the left side here which is exactly what we want for the look we're trying to get so now i'll come in here and put in the title for this slide which i used getting traffic and we're going to bold this and we're going to change it to that font we've been using for our theme and there we go then we're going to put our subtitle text so i'll copy this from our original example come in here we'll paste that in we got that there now we just need to change the color of it we'll make it white and we'll drag this up there nice and close and now that's ready to go now we need our bullet point text so i'll copy that text here and we will paste that in you'll see the formatting is a lot different so we're going to change these to bullet points and then we're just going to make the font smaller until it looks good on this particular slide so it looks good about right there we'll delete some of these extra lines we have get rid of those and there we go so we're looking good there if we wanted to we can make this a little bit bigger there we go we got that that's looking great and the last thing we'll do again is we'll just copy and paste our branding for the bottom corner from this slide so we'll bring that over and we'll paste that in so guys at this point you have multiple different slide layouts for your content you also have a great looking title slide and this thing actually looks like a professional looking online course and it looks a lot different than those bland default templates that you get with Google Slides or if you were to use some of these generic templates that they have in here they don't really look good and they don't really stand out so by doing these little things you can make an online course with Google Slides look really good all from within your Google Drive account. It's completely free and you now have a great looking online course. All right guys, so that does it for our how to create an online course with Google Slides tutorial. And remember, if you want me to share the template I created in this video, then give me a like and put a comment down below so I know that you guys want it. And if I get enough likes and comments, I will release it for everyone to download. So I will see you in the next video.